Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials. Welcome to our university's 50s anniversary, sir. Please have a seat. Thank you. Wow. Your school has so many honors. Congratulations. Thank you. Excuse me. I wonder see Dean Mr. Lee first. I was wondering if could you tell me where his office is? Certainly. Mr. Lee's office building at the south end of the campus, just beside the library. Excuse me? Let me show you the way. Please follow me. Thank you very much. It's very kind of you. My pleasure. This is it? It's up on the second floor. You have to use the stairs. The elevator isn't working. I don't understand why you always look so happy, so energetic. It seems like you've got good news every day. Really? Do I look happy all the time? All I know is you look quite differently from other teachers. Oh, do you know why? Actually, it's easy. Because I always exercise. My exercise, I think, is very hard. I often feel very good after conquering these difficulties. I feel alive. Oh, I know. I saw you doing pull-ups one time on the campus and some students trying to imitate you. Yeah, they are doing it for fun. Seldom would people like my exercise. It's difficult and boring. It's true. Many students do the exercise when they have to. We have PE once a week. But I think Chinese students need to exercise more. Besides exercise will help them learn new things better. Don't students want to have a good memory? Of course. I didn't know that. I only know exercise makes bodies stronger. I should take some exercise then. Do you have any suggestions? Well, do what you like to do. It can be anything. Jogging, doing aerobics, going bicycling, and playing ping pong. Absolutely anything. Doing three or more workouts a week is good for you. But remember to do some stretches first. Oh, I know. Thank you. You look pale, Paul. What's wrong? I've got a headache. I'm sorry to hear that. Anything I can do for you? No, thank you. I'll take an aspirin and see how it goes. What's your favorite book? It's Gone with the Wind. Why do you like it best? I enjoy the various characters and the plot. Well, I like the thorn birds best. Is it very interesting? Sure. I like the writer's language, too. If I have a chance, I'll enjoy the book. Would you like to go to the bookshop with me? That's a good idea. Let's go. How are you feeling, champ? Ready to go? You know, if I can keep up my workouts, I think I have a chance in 2004. In what? In gymnastics. I'm pretty flexible. Look, I can even touch my toes. Can you do the vault? I do back flips at the pool all the time. Have you ever thought about having children, Caitlin? My husband and I have thought about it, but we've decided not to have any. They are just too expensive. Besides, with all the news about global warming on the news lately, who knows what kind of world we'll have in the future. What about you? 
Well, I've always wanted to have lots of children. Growing up with only one brother, I always felt a bit lonely. What do you think about families with only one child? For me, growing up in a big family always made me yearn for attention. I always wanted to be an only child so that I could always do what I wanted and so that I wouldn't ever have to share. Don't you think you would miss having other people around? No way. I spent 20 years of my life with relatives around me 24 to 7. You know, I don't think I've ever actually spent any time by myself in my parents' home. What do you think of the one child policy in China? If China didn't have such a policy, can you imagine how many people there would be in China now? That's true. But as a woman, I'm glad that even though I don't want any children, I at least have a choice in how many children I have. On the other hand, I can't imagine what China would be like if there weren't a one-child policy. Do you think most families with many children envy or feel sorry for other families with only one child? I don't know what other people think, but I, for one, envy only children. Our son is gone and my heart is gone too. I don't know how to spend the rest of my years. Oh, darling, we must stand shoulder to shoulder and face the music. I know you can pull yourself together. I feel life is meaningless without him. Cheer up. You have got me at least. Hey, Lucas. How was your trip to Paris? It was wonderful, but I was so tired. Did you go to the top of the Eiffel Tower? Yes, that was the first thing we did. We went all the way to the top. There were visitors from all over the world taking photos there. What else did you see? Art galleries, cathedrals, statues, fountains, palaces, bistros, there's really too much to say. You must have had a great time. Yes, at the beginning we were all excited and had lots of fun. However, on the third day of traveling in the city, I felt sick I think I had something bad to eat but it passed by the evening. Yes, you need to be careful with what you eat when you're abroad. Sometimes new food might disagree with you. On the fourth day, we went to taste the French cuisine. That was really fantastic. And no stomach problems. That is great. Everyone says French food is wonderful. You'll have to try for yourself someday. So Peter, do you have a favorite comedy? Well, that's hard to say because there are so many good ones. I don't think I could pick a favorite. You know what comedy I really like? Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. I think Jim Carrey is really funny. Oh yeah, that's one of my favorite flicks. I think Jim Carrey is one of the funniest comedians ever. I agree, but even though I like comedies, I usually prefer more serious films. My favorite movie is Titanic. I watched a very interesting documentary about plants yesterday evening. It was called, Unusual Plants, and looked at several species of plants from around the world which have unusual features. Really? Tell me about some of the plants they showed. Well, there was one type of plant that catches insects and eats them. Is that type of plant found in this country? No, it isn't. It's a pity, because I'd like to see it in action. So would I what other unusual plants did they show? They showed flowers that only provide their nectar to one type of butterfly or bee. The insect has to be the exact size to get the nectar. Other insects cannot get it. Of course, when the insect collects the nectar, it also takes some pollen from one flower to another. That's very specialized. 
So, the insects and the flowers rely on each other. If one became extinct, the other would too. That's right. That's one reason why it's so important to protect every species. I see. The plants that fascinate me most are cacti. I find it amazing that they can survive in such dry desert conditions. According to the documentary, they have an incredible ability to find water supplies, however small, and then store them without losing much through evaporation. That's why they often have long roots to find water spines instead of leaves, to reduce water loss. Jack, I hear you got promoted. Is that true? Yes, I think I'm lucky. Oh, Jack, you deserve it. You've been working so hard. Thank you for saying that. If you want to keep healthy, you must give up smoking. It's extremely bad for your health, you know. I know it's not good for me, but the problem is I just can't help it. Well, I've got an idea. Put the label cancer sticks on each pack of cigarettes and read it before you smoke. It may give you a feeling to reduce it. I'll try. Welcome to my birthday party. I am so happy you can come. Thanks for inviting me. Here is the gift for you. Happy birthday, Francis. Many more happy and healthy years for you. Thank you. Shall I open it now? Yes, please do. Wow. A remote car model and my favorite brand. I really like it. That is so nice of you. Yeah, I was really struggling whether I should give you this nice little car. It was the last one they had and I really like it so much myself. Typical you, always wanting to keep the best things for yourself. The more I appreciate the gift now. How long have you been in Taiwan? About three years. So I came here 2000. So, where did you grow up? Providence, Rhode Island. Do you know it? I am not sure. Where exactly is it? Well, not so far from New York. So what about you? Did you grow up here? No, I was born in Kaohsiung. I only moved to Taipei after I graduated. Where do you come from? I come from Greece. What's the climate like in your country? It's very pleasant. What's the weather like in spring? It's often windy in March. It's always warm in April and May, but it rains sometimes. What's it like in summer? It's always hot in June, July and August. The sun shines every day. Is it cold or warm in autumn? It's always warm in September and October. It's often cold in November and it rains sometimes. Is it very cold in winter? It's often cold in December, January and February. It snows sometimes. May I know how old you are? I am 24. What is your date of birth? I was born on April 15, 1986. How many days do you take off for Easter? Usually we have a month off. What will you do for this Easter? I'll stay at home and have a complete rest. I have some photos here taken by myself. Would you like to see them? Sure. Speaking of photos, what type of film will be the best? 
You know. I'm planning a tour to Juze Gao Valley. I would get Fuji 200 film for taking photos of natural beauty. Thank you so much. You're an expert. Does your family have a record of your ancestors? Sure. My mom has been working on our family tree for years. She's always updating it. Do you have a copy of your family tree in your house? I'd love to see it. I can show it to you now, if you like. I think it goes back about eight generations so far. That's amazing. Do you have a large extended family? I've got 30 cousins on my mom's side and 10 cousins on my dad's side. Are you very close to your first cousins? The ones that are my age are close relatives. Now that I'm older, I don't spend as much time with them as I used to, so I don't know my younger cousins as well as the older ones. I see. Who's the head of your household? It's definitely my mother. And, her mother is definitely the matriarch of the bigger family. That's interesting. What does your grandfather think of your stepmother? At first, she was quite critical of her, but now that they've been married for a few years, she's starting to accept the fact that my father divorced my mother. That's pretty much how you feel about your stepmother. Like grandmother, like grandson. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.